I'm in Nashville here with Dr. Brad Bell, along with his partner Amy Donine has developed a protocol called the Bell Donine Method and their book, How to Beat the Heart Attack Gene. And he has developed this protocol to help people that are at risk for heart attack, strokes, and diabetes. Dr. Bell, tell us about this. How'd you come up with this and give us more information about that? Yeah, we developed this Bell Donine Method several years ago to stop heart attacks and strokes and we saw that it also prevented diabetes because it's a pre-diabetes is one of the biggest root causes of arterial disease. And we now know that inflammation is the critical factor that starts disease in the wall of the artery, causes progression of the disease, and can culminate in that event we call a heart attack or stroke. And our method about five years ago evolved to the point we felt we could actually guarantee our work. So we do that now with our patients. We guarantee that we can put down any fires in their arteries, keep their arteries healthy. So if they were to suffer a heart attack or stroke, we'd give them their money back. Wow, I know there are a lot of people out there that have a history of family disease and kind of dead man walking, doom and gloom, that everybody died at 55, 65. And so with your protocol, you're able to guarantee, and that's a pretty strong statement right there, guarantee that they won't right. have issues. And you also mentioned about inflammation. So tell us about how inflammation plays in that and how you're guaranteed and how many people you treated with this program. Yeah, our guarantee rests on our ability to extinguish the inflammation in the artery. We're really just fire fighters. We call it fire in the wall of the artery that drives that disease. And there are numerous potential causes for that inflammation. And most patients have multiple causes of inflammation. For example, smoking, nicotine will inflame the artery. This pre-diabetic condition inflames the artery. High cholesterol can inflame the artery. Lack of sleep can inflame the artery. Anxiety. But one of the most prevalent causes and one of the most important is periodontal disease and infected teeth. So we would not guarantee our work if we didn't have excellent dental providers like you to partner with. If we didn't have that, the guarantee's off because of a lot of our patients, in order to put the fire out, we have to have periodontal disease identified and optimally managed, which you can do. So, so a lot of, you're talking about a lot of inflammation, a lot of this is also lifestyle choices. So I, I, in going through the protocol myself with you, I was amazed how easy it was. There's not a lot of invasive testing about this, but it's very important blood work to tell you those indicators of inflammation. And that as a dentist, we've become an important part of that to help fight that inflammation. So it, uh, it, those factors you're talking about, sleep and those areas like that, I'm guilty of that also, and the inflammation, but it's a very easy protocol to follow and it's just lifestyle changes. And you're also saying that the dentist is a very integral part of this now to take care of something that you can't take care of. Absolutely, yeah. Again, there's no way we would even think about guaranteeing our work without individuals like you to partner with. A lot of our patients, inflammation of their artery is being driven by periodontal disease and or infected teeth. And a lot of those infected teeth, the patient doesn't even realize they have the problem. Like if they've had a root canal tooth and when they had the root canal, the infection was not totally eradicated, that infection will continue to smolder but the patient won't know it because the nerve's gone. And that infection can actually trigger a heart attack. An excellent paper published less than two years ago in one of our American Heart Association journals indicates it's possible somewhere around half of all heart attacks are actually being triggered by dental infection. Hard to believe. So thanks for what you do. I mean, you're helping to save lives, and we need to partner. With, on our own, we can't do it. It's a pleasure. It's, uh, it's nice to be part of that team and to do something to help you save lives. I know you have take to, taken time to affect a lot of people, improve their quality of life around this world, around the world, and it's a, a very great thing you're doing for this protocol. So keep up your work. I know from a personal standpoint of view, 
I am better off because of your care for me. It's something I studied, learned, and decided to become a patient, so I feel grateful and appreciate what you have done for me, so thank you for your help. If you have more interest in this, check out our website. There are some links you can come to to Dr. Bell's office, and also we link to the American Academy of Oral Systemic Health. And look at our website to find more information about the oral systemic links. Call our office, find out more information, set up an exam if you like, and we'd be glad to take care of your care. Thank you very much. Thanks, sir. Great. Thanks.